Question 5. Write down all the numbers between 99 and 120 that have exactly two digits the same. Now, if it really, really doesn't stand out to you what the answer is, what you could do is write down every number between 91 and 120. This doesn't hurt, it just takes quite a long time to sit and write them all out. But it's better to spend a little bit of time doing this than missing one of them out and losing a very simple mark early on in a test paper. As you're going through, you will spot quite a few of these which will have two digits the same, and quite a few that you'll be able to ignore. It would be very common for people to remember 99, but slightly harder for people to remember 101 has two number ones in it. Maybe by now you notice a pattern. There we go, we have 110. Another one which is very common to recognize. 111 would not be counted because it must have exactly two digits the same. But then we have 112, 113. All of the teens will also have exactly two numbers the same and should not be ignored. All this space at the top is designed for you to have working out space, so do use it. Don't be afraid to think that you should just be able to work the answers out on your own. With them all written down, we can go along, quickly circle the ones that we want. So I've got 99 has two numbers the same, 100 has two zeros the same. 101, 110, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119. Just looking at all the others, for the 90s to have two numbers the same, they have to end in 9, so all of those first numbers can be ignored. For 100s to be the same, it either has to have another 1 in it, or to have two zeros. So all of these other numbers can be ignored. It's worth double checking to make sure you've not missed any out. And then when you're quite happy, sit and write down all the numbers that you've circled. That would be 99, 100, 101, 110, 112, and so on, until you've written down all of the answers that you circled above. Some examiners may accept the ones that you've circled above, but it's a good idea to actually manually fill the answer section with the numbers that you want. If you miss one or two of those numbers out, you may still be able to pick up one mark. But do be careful, double check your answers, it's well worth it for that extra point.